Okay guys, today we're going to be looking at the Mora, <laughs> the Mora Bushcraft Black versus the Gerber Strongarm. Now, these two I would say are probably a little bit closer in capability, capacity, and probably target audience, but let's jump into them, talk about the experience. Okay, so we're starting out with, as always, batoning, not everyone's favorite, but this knife the Mora Bushcraft Black continues to do a very interesting job with batoning. It's not my favorite. It definitely does baton wood, but at the same time, the problem with it is that it has a very uh, visceral and unpleasant feeling of hand shock when you baton with this knife. And for that reason, it does not do a very good job of batoning, uh, and I don't really like that. Now, the Gerber strong arm does a much better job at batoning and it does not have any hand shock really whatsoever when you're batoning with it and it does just fine and you know no complaints really so by and large the Gerber strong arm is the winner now I will say both of these knives have about the same blade length so you will be reasonably uh, hindered by the you know size of wood you can go after because these are just smaller, you know, sub five inch blade lengths. So keep that in mind when you are thinking about going with one of these uh, knives for survival or for bushcrafting or for whatever outdoor excursion you are planning. So the next thing is feather sticking. And I would say that both of these two did about an equal job. Um, the more bushcraft black probably was slightly better, but at the same time, Neither of these two knives did such a better job that I would give it to one or the other. So I would say it's a pretty close draw or tie between feather sticking with both of them. Now that kept in mind, you know, the Scandinavian grind is always a little bit more difficult to uh, feather stick with because by and large the Scandinavian grind wants to bite deep into wood. So you kind of have to control it. And so like I've talked about in other videos, uh, you know, with the Scandinavian grind, you know, if you are cold, if you're kind of, you know, trying to rush things, it takes a lot more time and thoughtfulness with the Scandinavian grind. Whereas something like this flat grind that is present on the Gerber strong arm makes it a lot easier to just, you know, make a good quick feather and you know leave it at that however you know that does have trade-offs but it can feather stick rather well and uh, rather repeat repeatably and easily so the last thing is notching and with both of these knives i've talked about the bushcraft black before you know being that this knife is a bit thicker than something like a companion um, this blade is a little bit harder to push through wood and make good uh, notches with. That being said, it is still a Scandinavian grind and so it digs and bites into wood very deeply and very easily, or reasonably easy, and it does d try to bite in pretty deep. Whereas the Gerber strong arm is a blade that you have to really force and strong arm into wood if you want to notch. The other downside to the strong arm is being that this is more of a tactically built knife it has this arbitrary, you know, uh, top guard, and, you know, that's great for the proverbial or hypothetical knife fight, but in the woods out here, top guards are completely useless and worthless, and honestly, more than being worthless and useless, they're actually a detractor because they usually affect the way that you can hold the blade and utilize the blade in manners, uh, especially when it comes to, like, notching and carving. So definitely the Bushcraft Black is far superior for that. Once again, the performance of actual, each actual blade is pretty similar, but you know the ergonomics lend their hand into the overall performance uh, and you know ultimately have the end say on how good the knife actually is. Lastly, we have fire striking, and I'm not going to strike either of these, but I have struck both of them, you know, struck ferro rods with both of them in the past. Both do a fantastic job, both have very sharp spines and can throw excellent sparks. Last point that I will bring up is the build material. 
So that's what I'll build or bring up is the build materials and the quality of them. Um, overall, the construction and where they're built, it's pretty equal to the U.S. and Sweden. But of course, the Mora Garber, sorry, the Mora Bushcraft Black is made out of C100, which is essentially a 1095, whereas the Strong Arm is made out of 420. 420 is you know, a better steel in some regards, but by and large, it's not a good steel. Um, it's will It will lose its edge faster, whereas the C100 of the Bushcraft Black will hold its edge longer. Aside from that, they both have rubberized plastic handles, and, you know, they're, they're very similar in that regard. Um, of course, the strong arm is touted for being full tang, even though it is a stick tang, so it doesn't keep its full length. Uh, all the way through the tang is full but it does you know taper down so you know it is in that regard you know slightly weaker but overall both of them are very durable i really wouldn't be concerned about either of them breaking on you now lastly which one would i choose in this battle while i certainly don't like the mora bushcraft black for a lot of reasons i would end up picking the bushcraft black because it is a, it has better uh, materials and ultimately the ergonomics are superior. The thing with the Gerber strong arm is it's always felt very small in my hand and very shallow uh, in the grip. It's just not very filling and I'm reminded of that every time I go to do things like feather sticking uh, or notching. You know, the, it always feels so hard to hold because it just feels like there's not enough there for my hand. Whereas something like the Bushcraft Black and a lot of other blades, uh, you know, is, are very hand filling. It feels very natural to hold. There's no weird, you know, guards or anything like that. Everything is very naturally placed on the Bushcraft Black and it feels proper in the hand. I don't have any complaints on it. Uh, from an ergonomic standpoint. So I would choose the Bushcraft Black if I had to pick out of these two. Um, there are pros and cons to each. And like I said, uh, I'm not a huge fan of the Bushcraft Black, but it is still a decent knife. And so is the Strong Arm. So anyways, guys, that is all I have to say about the Strong Arm versus the Bushcraft Black. As always, God bless, and I'm out.